back or his and was in jeopardy. <laughs> Obviously, we're coming in on a different note <clears throat> this week as opposed to the previous multiple weeks um, for the victory. And so uh, now we look forward to uh, playing a really good Ohio State team, another top 10 team that we'll be playing <clears throat> our third one this season. Um, so look forward to the challenge and going down to Columbus. Uh, Saturday, you said you hadn't really talked to Sam about his future, whether he will play again in Vernon Redshirt. He said he was on the side. I'm just wondering if you guys know the direction he's going to go at this point in time. You know we can't share those that, that information. <laughs> keep them preparing. Keep them preparing. But no, uh, we're, 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 we're going to do the, what's best for the team. That's what he wants to do as well. And so, and for him as well. So, we're, we're, we're still working through it, to be honest with you. And then, if <clears> he was to decide not to play again for the season, where would you go for depth at quarterback with, you know, with Kane being the only healthy scholarship guy, Andrew behind him, and, and would you Move some quarterback, or do you think no one's going to come back? Uh, you still have to score for him uh, as, as a player for this playing quarterback as well. Um, so you know, that's what we'll, we'll, we'll span path, but you know, no decisions have really been ultimately made concerning Sam yet. So we'll just keep working. Probably in the back. You probably hear so many Mondays and just kind of preach resiliency and, and how this team has continues to bounce back. But I know it's been 24 hours, but. How good does Saturday feel, and how, how much energy was in that locker room after the game? Oh, it, it feels really good. I mean, uh, and when he does a lot, you know, it heals a lot of wounds and, and pain. Um, but the, and the energy in the locker room was outstanding. I mean, everybody was excited and happy and, and uh, you know, joyful. So it was, it was good to see those guys having fun uh, for a change in a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, it was great. It was great. Great feeling. I think JD had said that right here. Um, JD said after the game that this is the type that was the type of win that kind of brings life back into a team. How do you guys plan to just carry that momentum, knowing that you are about to face a really talented Ohio State team this weekend? Well, I told him this today in today's uh, team meeting. You know, we want to keep the positive, positive energy going, and so um, uh, that's what we want: positive energy. Uh, all, at all times from everybody, coaches, everybody, staff, support staff, training room, weight room, positive energy uh, is, is, is how you're going to keep it going. And, and your body language speaks of you know, negative or po positive energy also. So we want to have great, great body language, positive body language. And uh, there's a quote that I heard out there before. It says, uh, be positive or be quiet. So that's what we're going to be this week and moving forward. Um, you obviously know what it's like as a coach to go down to Ohio State and win um, in a game that you're not really favored in. What does this team need to do this week in terms of maybe summing up some of that mojo and carrying? What are the things that they need to do beyond just being positive? Great attention to detail. You've got to have great attention to detail on the previous two top 10 teams that we've played in Washington and in Ann Arbor is uh, the penalties for both games. So we can't beat ourselves. So that's, that's you know, so great attention to detail will help us not beat ourselves and get those uh, costly penalties. So give ourselves a chance. Don't help them beat us, you know, make them beat us. Have them to earn the right to beat us. And so th that, that's where we got to start. And then we move from there. But great attention to detail is always going to be a major factor. And that great attention to detail means, you know, doing your job, uh, playing with great discipline, great eye control, and, and, and great physicality. I don't know. You've seen them, played them a lot uh, over the years. So what do you think the difference is this year? It looks like you know, they don't have a Heisman candidate at quarterback, and, and defensively it seems like that's what's really leading them. Uh, not that they don't have talent, obviously, on offense, but it seems like the defense is what's carrying them this season. I see what you see. <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're a good team because they always get you know, a lot of great talent down there. Um, you know, um, Marvin Harrison is, is an outstanding uh, football player, and, uh, and they have others as well. So um, they, they're not lacking for, for talent, yeah, offense, defense, or anywhere. So um, we got to go down there, like I said, have great attention to detail, and uh, make sure we're going to execute on every chance we get an opportunity to execute. H, do you see Ohio State as being more like Washington with the high-powered passing game or more like Michigan with the physicality? Hmm. Um, you know, 
if they would say something about it. Uh, I, I see them as a, I, 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 as a mixture, I guess you could say. You know what I mean? They're a little bit of both. They can throw it around, obviously. Um, different quarterback in Washington than Ohio State. A little bit different. He's he's been the quarterback there for what longer? He understands their offense probably better, and so and more experienced. Uh, but it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a combination of the two. Uh, I see Michigan's had a couple of games where they didn't have a penalty. Nebraska did not have a penalty against you. How does a team do that? Go through 60 minutes? Seems like a stretch. But tell me about it. I, you tell me. I don't know. I don't know. They're, they're, I don't know. So, but good for them. Maybe they coach it up and they do a good job at it. And one more thing, what you do with the ball? Uh, it's, it's getting painted up and they're gonna give, me, give it to me later. So they took it from me and I don't have it anymore. So I gotta wait to get it back. You mentioned Martin Harrison a little bit. And you guys saw what he did last year against you guys. How do you hope to contain him or just slow him down a little bit? I can't tell you that. But I, I, I will say this, you know, He's, he's a really good football player, and um, and we know that. That's what I'll say. Um, one of the biggest stories in college football right now is obviously the sign stealing scandal with Michigan. We asked you about that um, when Michigan was here, um, but just with the news of Connor Stallions no longer being part of the program and the call of the last week with coaches, if anything, I'm just curious, what's kind of been your reaction? Do you think that the conference needs to take? Action more now immediately, or just where do you stand on all of it? I'll first step back to you. What you think? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I caught you off guard with that. Oh, uh, I'm just asking uh, questions. I'm, 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 I'm messing with. I'm teasing. I'm, teasing. I, I'm thinking like most people in this room. I'm hopefully thinking. I'll leave it at that. What does Saturday do in terms of, and, and, and talking to some of the guys, they talked about a weight being lifted. What, what, what did that weight feel like? And what does it feel like now to have it off you guys? And can playing free and easy help a team at this point with the, the road you got ahead? Uh, it, it, it can't help. Um, you know, like I said, the guys have been coming to practice uh, even when we were going through the tough times. Uh, every week with energy and passion and ready to go, um, but you can feel, man, finally we got one, and, uh, and it felt like a weight is off your back a little bit, um, but we still expect the same uh, energy and passion throughout the course of this week like they've been doing, uh, but like you said, at least it's one of the development feels even a little bit better. Um, do you expect anybody uh, back this uh, weekend that has been out, maybe in the league or Trey or yeah, uh, Malik will be back. Malik, Malik Carr will be back uh, this week. Trey, is he? And he's still, he's still, he's still, he's still be out. Um, is there anything, I guess, when you kind of talked about it, like the, not beating yourself, but anything else you learned in those two games against, you know, the top 10 teams you've already faced this season? That's the main thing, as far as the penalties and beating ourselves. Uh, I, I told our guys that we're not, we were a younger team. Uh, especially when we played Washington, and inexperienced in, in some areas on the team, a lot of areas on the team for that fact. But now I said no longer, that's, that's no longer an excuse if you want to call it an excuse. Um, you know, we got a lot of guys that got a lot of time in this year, played a lot of football. So now we got to go out and execute and again, have great attention to detail and perform under that type of um, situation like playing Ohio State, a top 10 team. And so I think our guys, Know how hopefully they, they, they've learned, got that experience, and feel comfortable and confident when they go out there on Saturday to go get the job done. Well, um, the decision to have Scotty up in the, the booth, and because somebody who's been a coordinator in that, would you get on the sidelines versus what you get in the booth, the advantages, disadvantages, and what was behind it? So um, I said probably to him a few weeks weeks back, and, uh, and he was like, yeah. I said, just think about it, just think about it. And he came back and said, I, I feel more comfortable staying down initially. And then uh, Minnesota, I said, man, go up. So, and like you said, as a coordinator, you, you watch so much film. When you're up in the booth, it's like watching film again. You see everything. And I said, man, you, I, I, I said, you will be 
outstanding in the box. As much film as you watch, you will be outstanding. And it's not like he's never done it. Um, he was just, you know, probably a little concerned about, you know, sideline adjustments and things like that. And, uh, and, and we assured him and the guys that were going to be doing it that they will get the job done on the sideline adjustments. I said, man, you, and so it's, I think it's been good. I mean, it's, it's been two weeks in a row now. Uh, I know he sees everything, and like I said, he, nobody knows the defense better than him. He, he brought this defense here, and, he, and nobody knows it better than him. And so he sees things right away and can call it out and get it fixed, as opposed to being down on the sideline. I think you hear from some guys in the box, they know, but, you know, you kind of, hey, what was that really? And then, you know, as opposed to being up top, and he's seeing it right away because he's been, in, like I said, been in his defense for so long. He knows the the good, the bad, the, the, and the adjustments and all that. So I think it's been really good. Uh, Harlan, last year, obviously only two interceptions for you guys as a team. Uh, numbers of teams, I mean, I think uh, Jaden's got about four on his own. I guess, what is, is there anything you can attribute to the, the increase in the number of takeaways you've got there? We talk, and we, not that we didn't do it last year, but we talk about, you know, getting the ball all the time. We say the ball, the ball, the ball. We got signs up in the, in the, in the, in the meeting room, the ball, the ball, the ball. So we always stress you to get the ball back for our offense and give them, uh, you know, multiple possessions. Keep getting the ball, get the ball, get the ball, and uh, and, and turnovers. In my in my um, time as a coach and as a player, they've always come in bunches. You know, they come in bunches. It seems like, and so now we're in we're in, we're intentional and in going after the ball, but at the same time, you know, that's how they come sometimes. You know, some people say if you're living right, you're just living right, man. If you, you got tip balls and all that kind of stuff. But our, our guys are trying to be intentional about going after the football, not only interceptions, but causing fumbles and things like that. How much do you think? I mean, Washington had a really good group of receivers. Ohio State, you, know, you talked about Martin, but this, this challenge for your young guys back there. Uh, again, they, they're, they're past the young stage now, so it's going to be a great challenge. It'll be another great experience to play against uh, a top 10 team and, uh, and look forward to it. I, you know, I tell them guys all the time, this is, this is why you come play college football if you're a competitor. And so competitors will be out there for us on Saturday and, uh, and having fun and going to get the job done. I guess when it comes to the offense, it's been a lot of three and outs. Um, just how, what, how does that impact, I guess, the team's rhythm when the offense is only out there for three plays and then when the defense team is back out there? And what are some ways that, you know, maybe you guys can start to make progress and keep moving the ball? Well, you know, we, we constantly talk about, you know, the mindset. I said this a few back what our mindset is, special teams, maximum effort, offense score, defense three and out takeaway. And so just trying to get the mindset to, hey, everybody, okay, if I go out and execute and do my job, that's going to allow us to keep moving past, keep moving the ball down the field. Um, so obviously they're not trying to go out there and get three and outs, um, but they're, they're working. We're getting better. We're, we're progressing. Had some things that we did um, to open it up a little bit on, on Saturday. You know, had a, had a have back pass still, you know, and all that, and uh, you know, pass back to the quarterback, things like that. So we're we're doing any, any and all things that we can to help us move the ball and score the ball. In, in last seven games against Ohio State, the score has been two eighty-two to seventy-four. Um, last seven games. Yeah, last seven. But the first one of that was the seventeen sixteen game here back in twenty sixteen. I guess is how do you, I mean, is the first start of being competitive? And is there a point where you have to say, we're in this game, we can do this? Or is there something where you can't, I guess the start in particular, you can't, I would imagine you can't let Ohio State just jump on you. Right, no doubt about it. Um, you went the last seven games, so I'm going to tell you where my mind goes. 13, we won, 12, won 12. 12 should have won, had a scoop and score, they called it back, but it was a bad call. Should have been a touchdown, a close game. Uh, 13, we won. 14 should have won, they called a touchdown back when we should have been leading at halftime. Uh, 15, we won down there. 16 should have won here, close game. That's where my mind goes. That's where my mind goes. All right, so so uh, I know what it, know what it is to, to, to go down and compete and play hard against these guys. They're beatable guys, uh, just like anybody else. And so uh, we're going to go down there with the mindset to go attack them and, uh, and, and get a win. So that's our mindset. It will never change. Uh, and, I, and I said last week, I think, you know, 
That was somebody mentioned spoiler, and I'm like, that's a, that's a scrub mentality. That, that ain't never been my mentality, and it never will be. So we're going down there to attack these guys and, and see what happens. $1.11, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, too. You forgot that one. Yeah, no, I didn't forget. I didn't want to go too far back. On you. <laughs> I didn't want to go too far back. And now in 12 is when the previous coach was there, so I just wanted to stay there. Uh, you mentioned that some of the young guys aren't young guys anymore, but one of the freshmen who's been playing a lot more over the past three games or so has been Jalen Thompson. He made a big impact on uh, Saturday. What have you seen from him in practice that you trust is putting him in that role? We see that he's been getting better and better. Coach Dyron Reynolds does a great job of coaching those guys up, and he's going to be a really, really good football player. Um, as you guys saw on, on Saturday, and the, the best is still yet to come with him because he's still learning. But uh, really good player, smart, tough, physical, fast, everything that you want in the defensive end. So we're, we're, we're really excited about Jalen Thompson. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.